Is it worth seeing the current lineup of Foreigner? This is the Rock and Roll with the Man. My name is Sean Morrison. I believe I did a video about this in the past, but I want to do another one because I do get questions every day. Would it, would it be in no Mick Jones at a lot of the shows where he's just original, the only original member technically still involved, even though he hasn't been performing many of the shows lately? It's due to health reasons. He is going to be 78 years old. Um, since around 2005, Kelly Hansen has been the lead vocalist. You know him from Hurricane. And a lot of fans of the band Hurricane, that know Kelly Hansen from Hurricane, do love seeing him perform in Foreigner. And yes, he does a great job and everything. Some feel he's a Lou Graham imposter. Some feel he's not. And then, of course, Jeff Pilsen from Dawkins still in the band on Beast. They've been, like, in the band for a very long period of time. If you're not subscribed to the show, Mars, and YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there, subscribe. We thank you very much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's really appreciated. Sean Morris Enterprise is the place to go if you'd like to make a small donation to the Show Morrison YouTube channel. So friends are asking me these questions. I have a couple answers for you. I've never seen the band Foreigner before, and you just want to hear the hits performed live. I would say, yeah, go see them. I'm not going to say go see them millions of times. Because, you know, ticket prices are costly these days. Unless you got a full show with Lou Graham these days and any other the classic lineup members, then maybe it's worth going a couple times if you've never seen the band before. But people have asked me how many times have I seen Foreigner. Saw them in 1995, 1999, both with Lou Graham. And then after that, it was 2007 and 2010 with Styx. Then two uh, David Torn with Def Leppard in one year, one year was Kansas. And then 2000... Um, 13 was a headliner. Thank you, Janaki, for the birthday present. And 2014 was, again, which sticks. And obviously, the main reason why I went was because Sticks was on the show. Because everybody knows that Sticks is my favorite band. So some people might want to go just to hear the music, hear nostalgia. Some might go because they like Kelly Hansen. So if you are a Kelly Hansen fan and you haven't seen the band Farner, I would say um, at least go. I'm not saying to spend millions of dollars on tickets, but at least go once, see how you like it. I'm not saying make it an everyday thing because, you know, you know, Lou Graham was the voice of Farner. You know, there's other bands out there, as we know, that perform without original members. One is, um, who the hell is that? I'm, I told him about the time, Molly Hatchet. And Definitely a different situation. And no, I will not see the Little River scam known as the Little River Band. So, friends, what's your thoughts about it? If it's being worth seeing the foreigner lineup with um Kelly Hansen, give me your thoughts, please. Shame, shame, shame.